All right, guys, Carl from the Stoji Lads here, back with another Cuban cigar review. Uh, I've been doing some more obscure Cubans recently, and I think I'll continue that trend this time. One that I know already that I love. Uh, unlike that uh, H. Auburn Epicures, this is the Por La Rañaga Monte Carlos. A 33 ring gauge only by 159 millimeters. Long, slender stick, very, very classic format. This just like screams like elegant French cafe cigar smoker, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's so long and so slim. It's, 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 it's a very like classic Vitola that they used to smoke way back in the day. Uh, Por La Rañaga only has three cigars in their lineup and this is one of them. Uh, these are pretty hard to roll, so usually these are not great uh, burn-wise, uh, more often than not. Uh, because they're so slim and they're still long filler and hand rolled, they can often be quite plugged. But I've tried the draw here. It's a little bit tight, but it's pretty nice. This one smells fantastic. It's got that classic Cuban, just hay, you know, sort of uh, aroma. It's very pungent and nice on this. And the draw seems good. So we'll light this one up and uh, try it and see if this lives up to its previous expectations. All right, so lit up in the first third, as clumsy as I am, you can see I uh, <laughs> I cracked the bottom here a little bit when uh, before lighting up, I, I dropped it. Um, it shouldn't be a huge problem though the crack doesn't extend that far flavor wise this is spot on at the draw is perfect uh, i was i was a little bit worried mm. this is a predominantly woody cigar it's wood forward a little bit of that oak it, it's it's very very nice lots of cuban twang on this and that slightly salty cuban twang, twang character a little briny i really love that just the tiniest hint of like a raisin-ish sweet, uh, sweetness. But so far, it's that wood, it's that oak and salty Cuban twang that is taking the forefront. Very, very nice cigar. It is silky, silky smooth too. Uh, it's not light in flavor. I'd say this is light to medium so far. But there just isn't much har harshness or pepper as you could probably see. I just retrohaled the entire puff, no problem. Yeah, this is great. It's great early in the day. I just, I feel like this is such a good value Cuban cigar, honestly. It's, this is around six US dollars here in Sweden, which is so little for a cigar. And these burn like 45 minutes at least uh, as they're so long. Long filler, a whole hand roll. These are such good value. So far, I'm really loving this. It's such a good casual cigar. Uh, we'll see how it progresses when it goes forward. Hopefully this crack uh, sorts itself out. Um, but yeah, very nice so far. All right, so I'm somewhere here in the second third. Uh, that crack didn't really do anything. Uh, this is burning like a champion. Uh, and these, these can be pretty tough, you know. As I talked about before, the rolling of these cigars aren't, uh, aren't the easiest, but this one's burning perfectly and performing fantastically. Now, uh, let, me, uh, let me preface this by saying this is a pretty one-dimensional cigar, right? This is, at, at its price and whatever, th these were actually machine-made up until 2002. Uh, so these are supposed to be quite a simple expression from Por La Rañaga, but that being said, that doesn't mean it's, it's, it's not great, and it is great, because it's, it's got a lot of nice, nice coating flavors. There's no harshness, not even a single hint of it. You can often get that in quite young Cubans. This is pretty young, I have to say. I think this is maximum a year old. I mean, this is one of those where mm, it's already so good. And since it's so cheap, you can buy these and smoke them right out of the box. You don't need to wait too long and age them. Still predominantly woody. Uh, still woody uh, woody forefront. Um, that raisiny sweetness has stepped up a little bit. It's almost like a plum. It's, it's like a pretty dark fruit sweetness, but it's not, it's not very strong. It's just sort of accenting that wood. Other than that, it's still pretty briny, like a salty Cuban twang, which is fantastic. And a little bit of pepper now in the back of the throat that's just sprinkled there, but it's not very strong at all. Um, <clears throat> yep, this is still a great, great cigar. Um, I'm not sure how much is going to evolve in terms of complexity. Uh, I remember smoking these before. They don't really evolve too much in complexity, but um, yeah, we should actually, I'll up to you guys, you know, towards the end of it, uh, give you guys some final thoughts, and I will continue enjoying this cigar. Cheers. All right, so coming into the final third here, the flavors on the palates actually stayed the exact same. Uh, I've been smoking this for 45 minutes now. It's it's a very oaky palette, sort of woody palette. Still that briny, salty Cuban twang that's fantastic. The only real thing that's evolved is sort of the sweetness. It's gone away from fruity at all, like a dark fruit. And now, um, 
now, like coming in now after the puff, long after on the finish. It's a sort of caramel toffee-like thing. And uh, it really tastes sort of like salted caramel long after on the finish. The finish is very long, um, which is very, very good. Uh, this, uh, this is not that complex, but um, what you're getting from it, it's, uh, you know, wh what you're paying for this cigar. And I've been smoking, like I said, for 45 minutes. If you smoke pretty slowly, this is definitely going to last you an hour. You're paying like six US dollars for a Cuban cigar that's long filler, hand rolled, and very, very good flavor. It's really a great cigar for a beginner or aficionado, which is exactly why we included this in our Cuban cigar packs. You can find them on our website in the link below. We are partnered with a Swedish retailer here, Tabaquero.se. He ships internationally, so you can get these pretty much anywhere. Uh, but it is really a fantastic cigar for the price. Um, to rate this a score, I'm going to give it an 88. Uh, why not much higher? It's just because the complexity isn't that high. But, you know, when you factor in the price and the smoking time and all that stuff, that's an incredible bang for your buck stick. Um, but it's just very, very enjoyable. It's very smooth, very oaky, Cuban twang, lots of that good, good stuff. Simple flavors, consistent throughout. And this one's burned absolutely perfectly. Apart from my stupid uh, cracks, it's been like stacking dimes. So fantastic cigar. absolute pleasure um yeah i recommend this to anyone even if you don't bite through us obviously all that stuff is always fine uh we're just gonna recommend our cuban cigar packs uh but yeah i recommend the cigar to anyone it's a fantastic value cigar hope you enjoyed the video as much as i enjoyed this cigar and i hope to see you guys in the next one cheers